Whoa, that was close. Okay. Let's see that dude still sitting there. Stop! Good day there once again viewers, your mate Kamikaze78 here, coming to you guys with some more Battlegrounds content. Today guys, I'm just going to be jumping in for some live commentary on this video today, I'm just going to be doing a solo game on the Oceania server, because, you know what, it's been a long day at work, I feel like sitting back, relaxing a little bit, having a bit of fun, come on, bloody network lag, what's going on here, there we go, hopefully I'm good now. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump into some Battlegrounds here today, oh wow, I am lagging big time. There we go. Here's everything's back to normal again. Beautiful. Very good, my friends. Yep, yeah, just as I was saying before, jumping into some battlegrounds, having a little bit of fun here, just playing some solo, seeing if we can get ourselves back up on the leaderboard after the uh, after the uh, leaderboards were reset a couple days ago. Um, so yeah, figured we'd just see what happens, see what we can make of it. Okay, I need to fix my fucking internet, apparently. One sec, my friends. Alright, we're back, guys. Sorry about that. Had to reboot the game, essentially, and... Uh, Thankfully, they've got the feature working where you can reconnect to a game if you happen to disconnect from it. Thank you very much to the devs for implementing that feature. You've basically saved my bacon here, and I'm able to keep playing the game. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Jumped into Saverna here. We're all by our lonesome. At least last time I checked, we were all by our lonesome. Which should mean uh, we should be able to get a nice handful bunch of loot. We are actually in the circle now, too. So, us being in the circle right now means that we're probably going to catch uh, the attention of quite a few people right about now. Um, people start making their way in from the south. Um, this is one of the major towns now that is still in the circle and is most likely to be in the circle once the circle keeps moving. So, uh, yeah, we're very much in play right now. Got a red dot for the AK, which is nice. Uh, sweet energy drink. A more boosts here and there. Very, very nice. Uh, level 1 vest. And a suppressor for the SMG. Gorgeous. So, if I could find like a car 98K right now, because I do have a suppressor for a sniper rifle as well as a... Uh, Cheek pad, that would be just swell, but then again, beggars can't be choosers. Gotta see what we can deal with. Knowing my luck, someone will come charging down here trying to get into the loot and uh, complete, catch me completely off guard. They may have even done it while I was lagged out there, but hopefully not. As you guys can probably tell, Battlegrounds has quickly become my main game. It's a game I just simply cannot get enough of. It's it's such a simple game in concept at the end of the day, like, you know, it's design, it, the whole design of it is, you know, you jump into a into a field or into a map and it's last person standing wins. Such a simple concept, one that hasn't been executed quite as well in any other game as what Battlegrounds has done because its entire focus is on this concept. And because of that, because they've had all their focus drawn here, it means that the, um, the final product is a lot more defined, it's a lot more refined if you will, because developers are focusing all their resources on creating this sort of experience. The issue that H1Z1 had, I found, they originally built the game to be a zombie survival game, but because of that design choice at the start of it, and when they decided to start focusing more, oh wow, level 3 vest and a, uh, and a level 2 in the same building, that's just, that's just, you know, Christmas coming early. Um, sorry, but yes, basically, because they started the game out as being a, uh, as being a zombie survival game, when they started focusing more and more on the Battle Royale side of the game, their focus was fractured at best. You know, one side of the game was focused entirely on zombie survival, and they made, you know, gameplay choices, weapon balance choices, all that sort of stuff designed around that idea. And when they decided to focus more so on, on the Battle Royale side, it felt confused to me. So, I'm really glad they decided, I'm really glad that the guys over here at Battlegrounds or Blue Hole decided to create this sort of experience that focused entirely on one thing. That's just sort of what makes Battlegrounds, despite its simplicity, such a great game to play and something that's so addictive. At least that's the way I look at it. I could be reading this situation entirely wrong, but I don't know. That's just the way I like to view Battlegrounds and its and the success story that really Battlegrounds has become. Oh, we in a quick draw mag. Beautiful. Look at that reload speed. Oh, so smooth, so beautiful. I um, still haven't checked this side of the of the town. And again, I think I might be alone, but then again, we are moving to the sort of point in time in the game now where people could be everywhere. And considering this is one of the major towns now inside the circle, I wouldn't put it past them for people to start showing up. As soon as I get a sniper rifle, I'm grabbing it because again, suppressor on a sniper rifle in the later stages of the game is just filthy. We're actually uh, fairly stocked up on gear now too. What are we maxing out on here? Um, a lot of 9mm, drop the 15, uh, 45, sorry. 
Um, a lot of energies, a lot of pain. But we're actually pretty good for the most part now. The only thing I'm really hunting for is a sniper rifle. And if the plane comes this way, it's not going to, but it is going to drop over there. How adventurous are we feeling, ladies and gentlemen? I'm kind of feeling a little adventurous here today. We might actually go for that drop. A little bit brisky, I know, but I feel like shooting someone. Out of context, that's going to sound horrible. So if you're listening to this, like, at school or at work without headphones on, I apologize for the weird looks that your bosses are giving you right now. Or your teachers, one of the two. And I would say stop watching that sort of shit while you're at work or you're at school, but hey, at school, I, well, let's not talk about it. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to talk about something we don't need to here. <laughs> so with over half the game killed already and not a single soul seen so far, it's going to be quite a ghost match. Not a lot of people at all, but then again, I did drop very, very far from the plane direction. And, like, Severny was the furthest town away from the flight path, if you will. And, uh, yeah, by doing so, I definitely isolated myself a lot. I had to drop late. I had to pull my chute early, should I say, to actually get there. Is that the smoke from the package? I think it might be. I could find a car somewhere around here so I can charge in for it. That'd be solid. I only have a level 1 helmet right now, too, is a little bit... Uh, less than optimal, give or take. I definitely prefer to have something level 2, even level 3. Considering that I am, like, someone decides to, you know, take a shot with a sniper rifle, they're going to clean my head clear off right about now. But, I guess you got to take some risks. It's gotten to the point now where looting, looting itself has become a little bit less important. Now the focus remains entirely on either killing people or surviving, full stop. But we've done well for ourselves, AK. That's relatively geared. Would have liked a magnified scope or something, but... Something that really does excite me in the world of Battlegrounds right now is the eSports scene. And I know this is going to sound a little bit hypocritical considering that I did give the uh, Gamescom Invitational that happened recently a little bit of shit for basically how it was uh, run in regards to, you know, what limited resource the developers had or the, the streamers had, if you will, when it comes to things like, you know, dealing with, ex dealing with observer cams and all that stuff. But I've been casting, as you guys have probably seen on my Twitter, I've definitely been casting for the PUBG Oshi CGL lately, which has been a stupid amount of fun. Um, and I've also been playing in it. Has anyone come? Yeah, someone's grabbed it. Damn it. I should have thought so. This is very, very late for me to start merging on a care package here. I'm going to get some cover. There is a car parked up by that Witch's Hut too. So if someone's got that care package, where did they go? They might have actually gone... Well, wow, another guy f coming flying down there. He's actually just gotten out, so we could possibly see a firefight. In fact, there's another car heading north. Look at that. Oh, wow. As uh, Mr. Owen Wilson would say. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love doing the Owen Wilson. The Owen Wilson. Wow. It's sort of become a meme at my workplace. It really has. And make a bit of a push on this witch's tower here. In fact, there we go. Knew it. Firefight. He's going to be sitting on that side. <coughs> Ooh that come from? It made me jump, actually. Someone's taking shots at me, I think. He's going to heal up quickly. I don't think he can still see me. At least I hope he can't. He's going to pop a... Actually, no, we'll pop our energy drinks here real quick. A few bandies. I've got no idea where that came from. It came from somewhere up the hill there, I think. A couple of bandages. Okay. I'm gonna move a little further up. I want to engage this guy at the witch's hut because I hate being caught between two potential targets. He's definitely still on the second floor. I've got two frag grenades. Okay. Let's do it. Actually, yep, I can see him. It's a sniper. Ah, shit. I want to engage this guy in the witch's tower. I'm just going to do this. Right out. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. I threw that. Damn it. Oh, that was close. Okay. I can see that dude still sitting there. Stop! Oh my god. I don't know how I won that. That was terrible aiming by my part. I did have a two times on him, so that makes life a little bit easier. 
What else did you have on your butt? And some AK ammo. Okay, I've thrown the two times on there. Okay, I can still see this dude. We've also got this guy. There's two buggies parked in there, actually. Wow. All right. That's going to be something to worry about in a second. Okay, I see you. Got him. Beautiful. That's what accuracy looks like. Cool, calm, and collected under pressure. I'm gonna grab his this dude's meds. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can go get that rifle. Go get in the car. I'm gonna hit up there. Whoop, shit, take a fire. Let's go. Fuck you, sir. I'm out of here. Risking I'm taking an awful risk here, but hopefully it pays off. I can't believe I actually got this guy. That was a long range kill for a 2x. What'd you have for me, bud? He had the M24, beautiful! And a level 3 helmet. Which I somehow did not manage to hit at all. Oh, damn, I shouldn't have dropped the AK then, actually. Perfect. And we've got the AK in there now as well. I'm gonna drop all this 9mm. Take all the 7.62 I can. No, I don't need that many bandages, but I'll sort that out a bit. Beautiful. Suppressed sniper rifle, people. Okay, that's a dude over there as well. Okay, so circle's now moving in. We're not in the best of positions. I can see that dude up there still. There he is. Okay. Oh, wow, that crate dropped in right behind me. That'll attract some unnecessary attention. Actually, hello. See so if we can get him. Oi. God, this thing sounds like a beast when it's suppressed. Is he going to stop? He sounds like he's going to stop. I'm going to check the package real quick, make sure no one's sneaking in for it while I'm distracted, if you will. Oh, he's coming this way. Okay, aim, that'd be good. Hits. Damn it. Got him. Get Rex, son. That's what you get for trying to be cheeky. The only issue I'm seeing with the M24 right now, it's a fucking long weapon. Like, it is not easy to conceal at all. Like, there's no hiding this thing. <laughs> it is massive. Okay, Circle does not like us today. Not right now, it doesn't. Based on... Yeah, shit, that's a long way to move. And I'm going the wrong way. There he is. I see you, pal. Bye -bye. Okay. I think he may have had a suppressor of some kind there. I'm just going to check him out. But I do have a vehicle down there at the house that I can still run to if required. In fact, no, my buggy rolled down the hill. This dude, this dude did have a bike. What do you have? Dude had a crossbow, are you kidding? What the hell? He did have a suppressor for an AR though, which I'll happily take. I'm gonna get rid of that. And good. Alright, let's go find a vehicle. Where'd my buggy roll down to? There it is. Just down there, that's fine. I'm gonna pop a pain I'm gonna pop a painkiller real quickly. I'm pop two actually. Get ourselves up to maximum efficiency. I'm gonna pop an energy drink instead. That's okay. Um so we've got a sniper off with a suppressor, we've got an AR with a suppressor, both running 762, so they're high damage guns. Not bad. Just gotta get in my vehicle and get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. 16 people left. This is now the intense part of the game where everyone's looking for real estate. Look at all these buggies parked around these houses. Even a Darcy here. Wow, there are five vehicles there from what I could count. Five vehicles, that is ridiculous. This is the issue about the circle being this small, right? There is absolutely nowhere to park that is going to be outright safe. There is a guy down there. He'll be an easy kill, actually. We're going to go quickly, get out here, and deal with him. Where is this guy? I don't have to move far for the circle now, too. I've kind of set, my up, my, set myself up in a pretty, dude, pretty, pretty good position here. Oi! 
You prick. I don't know who that was or where it came from, but that was not cool. I don't want to pop a first aid, actually. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, that wasn't cool. My helmet is beyond fucked now, too. That was a heavy weapon. Might have been an AWM. Okay, so there's... Oh, hello, I see you. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, hello. A little too low. Got him. He's out of the game. He was aiming down this way. Doesn't matter. Circle's gonna move soon. I gotta get going. Okay, yeah, thought I saw old mate. Okay, he has no idea I'm here. I'm pretty sure this is his vehicle here. It would be the only explanation, really. If I'm honest, I think he's gotta move too. But he does. He most certainly has to move. Alright, top ten people. This is where the shit gets shit gets intense. There he is. Perfect. Precision. Oh, I don't like being up here actually. So many angles to watch. I'm gonna move down on this side of the hill. Hello. Oh, if my aim was a little bit more on point, that'd be good. Dude doesn't have any idea where I am. Goodbye. Apparently I hit him a few times or he was other or he was otherwise damaged, because that took a lot of shots. I must have connected a few at least, surely. The circle is in the dead center of this one. So everyone's got to move. Down to three people left now. Now, I'm not sure if the guy that I just killed over here was shooting at someone else, because I think I did hear shots coming from here, and I don't know if he got the kill. Oh, this is so dangerous. There was a rock just over here that this dude was going to run for, so we might just see if we can grab that. Gonna pop a few more meds. Helmet is very low. I'm like dangerously low. This helmet, which is something I don't like at all. Ooh, this is intense. This is when shit hits the fan. This M24, as much as I love it, it served me well. But Jesus Christ, this is going to be the one thing that reveals me to the entire enemies here. There's one more house left in play too after this final circle. And here it comes. I'm not going to crest this hill at all. Let's just get down here. Actually, oh shit, I gotta go. Smoke over there. That's interesting. How very revealing. It's been quiet for the past few minutes. Damn, circle's finishing beyond that house. Fuck, I'm in the worst possible bloody position right now. I'm just going to try and scout it out, see if I can find these last two. Try and s I've got a minute to basically find these guys and annihilate them before final circle. I don't want to move right now. This is a bull hello. Let's see one. Or is that a buggy? I'm not sure. It's a dude. Sweet. Okay. As soon as the other guy now knows exactly where I am. I'm hoping he's gonna move after me. I'll just start tanking meds. Best to get myself up to max boost, just in case. It's all gonna come down to wits here. Whoever spots the other first. I'm so cool. There he is. <laughs> I've got the drop. Yes! There we go, people! Brilliant! Nine kills on the board. That is a first place. Winner winner chicken dinner right there. Alongside it, we got it basically managed to get a crate weapon in there as well. Dual suppressed guys. That was an awesome game. Fantastic, guys. So if you enjoyed this little video, if you enjoyed today's Player Unknown's Battlegrounds gameplay, feel free to backhand that like button. It'd be greatly appreciated, guys. If you want to see more of this, let me know by liking the video, guys. At the end of the day, the videos that get the more likes are more inclined to keep on doing. We had a really, really good game here, and I'm really, really keen to just keep on posting PUBG Live gameplay for you guys. This was certainly a fun match to record. If you guys enjoyed it, once again, backhand the like button. If you find yourself backhanding the like button and you're new to the channel, backhand and subscribe button whilst you're at it and if you've got any feedback comment down below let me know and uh yeah guys once again hope you enjoyed today's video peace out and i'll be seeing you all next time have a good one <laughs>